what... who you know is likely going to be looking to roam around because Galio works so well with a couple of the champions Supermassive have drafted in the side lanes. He can pair up nicely with the Malphite. the spear here. Kakao knows that his jungle is uh, not his own anymore. Oh. Four players there. Santa's going to step forward. Here's the hero's entrance. The Drowsy's going out. There's the Sleep Zone. looking for the damage. Paddlestar can't quite connect. A stun onto Balulu as he tries to get away. He's burnt the flash and will escape underneath his tower. Kong but, you know, and, and Zoe can potentially find try to poke her out with range later on, but here we go, mid lane, No Man's. Flash from Snowflower. No Man's still had a flash of his own. Snowflower was looking for the Battle Dancer Grand Entrance combination. Yeah, down in, well, you have to get it down in the next three and a half minutes, but you should be able to do that pretty easily. You do also oh, have to lose Snowflower. Snowflower caught underneath the tower. Wasn't expecting Santos there. The heal is burnt. Ouch. Like. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely pivotal. Snowflower going in with the quickness, he's put to sleep and knocked what? to the side. Here's the hero's entrance. Snowflower almost dies, but gets away with the grand entrance. And now Ananasik is the target, the bullet time coming out. And weren't able to catch out the target they were looking for. But here comes Santa double from the TP. bottom. Whoa, that was incredibly quick double TP as they look for the fight. But Lulu does have Flash, he's going to chase onto Santos. Unstoppable Onslaught flashed away here by Gadget, but he's going to be slowed up by the Seismic Shard. And the chase is on, the rat is caught in the trap. He's getting kills, now Gadget is dying, but hey, no man's down bot side apparently. And slide, right, if you think about it, he's a giant mountain, that thing's absolutely terrifying. We'll see this play again, because it's a really slick Flash from Zite not to pop on out of this one. Of course, Santos now without a Flash, and Gadget tries to heal to escape from this one, but the bonus movement speed, Flash into ult is dodged away from, but Coming off of those TPs with the move speed ever since those changes, it is just really hard to run away. Kakao's going to look for the smite here, and is going to jump forward, steals it away. Snowflower going in with the quickness, can't quite get the damage down, and here's the Cyclone onto the backline. Armut is the first target, Zynos going to try and position across the wall and opens up with the bullet time. Boss took a nap in the middle of it, but is still able to survive for the moment. Kakao chased off, he will get the kill on Boss, he will also fall. And meanwhile, the rest of the fight continues as Gadget has been untouched. Zyknot's going to try and do what he can into No Man's, but it's a great fight for the Unicorns. Five kills in the river. I just want sick as well. It's going to be so much harder for Supermassive to engage. So let's check out this fight one more time because, again, it's a steal at the start. And then on one side, you see Snowflower Diamond Cord, he doesn't connect it. But then the double sleep comes through and Zyknot tries to line it up. But Santos, I wasn't quite sure how his sleep ended up being broken and the damage used his ult. There you go. And then, the, of course, the... Ultimate wasn't quite enough damage to finish off the Wukong, so everything was spent on the front line. He was able to get out free, and all of a sudden that means Gadget fully. Takes oh. like 65% damage reduction. Gadget jumped in here, but the spray and pray. Zynos just gonna die before he can even do anything. Snowflower was the one to engage, and now he's the one who is being collapsed on. Santos trying to give him a gift from the side of the lane. Would you like That's some cool. more crazy news? Because there's a Rift Herald it. too on that Nidalee. I mean, what can you do? Has the Blade of the Rune King completed? That's a big spike right there with the ultimate cut through Zeitnot and the Teleport 2 to make sure they finish off the second. I'll say what you can do is hit the knock. Now we're at a point for Supermassive where it was dead even, you know, maybe slightly behind in gold, but now Zeitnot gets jumped on again. Here is Entrance coming out. Snowfire will look for the engage once again, and No Man's has been charmed up. The Zoe goes golden. You have to feel that stopwatch isn't going to save his life for long. Shutdown goes over to Zeitnot. Santa's now forced away as well. He's going to go to sleep, but Gadget opens up with a spray and pray. Two items yet on your Galio. You're not... <laughs> well, 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 then. You don't. You're going to go for the teleport behind. Balulu looking for a flank position. The dragon's already gone. Balulu trying to catch out Gadget. Has the taunt not flashed away from, but here comes the Cyclone onto the back line, and Zeitnot's already almost dead. Snowflower uses the quickness to stop him. The Unstoppable Onslaught has popped, but that's on the tanky front line. Only Boss has fallen. Gadget killed off one. Where we are in terms of... This team fight is uh, Santos yeah. and Bosco straight in. I mean, it looks like a really good combo at the start, but the healing goes through onto Zynot, and then they turn it around. The two-man knockup into the bullet time cuts through very nicely. 
think Lilia Burns. That is what Supermassive will be hoping for. Their backs are a little bit against the ropes in this game. 5,000 gold behind as Supermassive, once again, Snowflower just dancing forward. The sleep has landed. X Flash from Santa's gonna dive in with the Cyclone. Zeitnod is already done for. And Armut tried to get in onto the Twitch, but he was flashed away from. Uh, Boss CIS representatives. Perhaps this is their year. For that, we saw Vega Squadron lose to Fungu Buffalo in MSI knockout 3-2. Maybe this is the chance for the Unicorns. Wow, the sleep connecting there. No Man's getting that on to Zygnon. Of course, Armut without the follow-up of that misfortune. Disposal. Snowflower slept up towards the top of it as Supermassive maybe looking for the Blast Cone play here. Snowflower forced away. There's a hero's entrance. Armut stumping onto Gadget. He pops the stopwatch. You mentioned it end. It's going to keep him alive for the moment, but the knock-up's still coming down. Kick out, flashing forward. The shutdown goes over to Zygnon. But now the fight turns on his head as the Unicorns of Love are the ones advancing, stepping forward into the jungle of Supermassive. They get a kill. Oh, and they Their comp built around Pook. It's perfect. Kakao steps in front of the panel side. I think Zainal might have just died to that. The Loating Lullaby coming out, and here's the teleport. They don't want to wake up No Man's yet. They want him in bedtime land as Santos is the one to step forward. Anana Sig tries to dive onto Kakao. Zainal now the target, and he is left for dead by the rest of his team. Oh. Armut eats a spear to his rear, and he will go down as well. The Unicorns of Love. Uh, Gadget does not have his flash. He's got about 15 seconds on that. No man stepping forward. Here's the Gadget. Go. They dive onto Gadget. The hero's entrance coming out as well. He's asleep. Armut is asleep. He took a nap on the job and it may cost super massive at this fight. Belulu dived onto the back line and was able to kill off Gadget. And now it's up to Zeitnot and Armut to try and step forward. Santos goes down. 2v2. Two, uh, 2v3, sorry, in favor of Unicorns as Zeitnot fell. No ultimate left on him, but Unicorns, they want to end the game right here. Kakao are looking to try and get some damage down, clear out the minions, but you just can't do it quickly enough. Armut jumped on, Kakao sweeps away a few, but the Nexus Tower is the target for the Unicorns. And it looks like Supermassive may have met their match in game one here. Armut down to about a third HP, the Nexus still ticking away, but here comes Zeitnot back alive, going to be able to defend. That win for the moment. The bullet time oh, coming no. out cancelled immediately by Zeitnot. And uh, that means the Unicorns will be able to get away. Base down 10,000 gold without a tower remaining. But look at this. The sleep from No Man's onto Armut completely stops the engage. Snowflower gets over the sleep, but without the mouth bite to come on in, the damage is delayed. Armut, they try to peel back on this right side of the team fight, but. No Man's and Ananasik, they were able to turn it around after Gadget did finally go down lane. Inhibitor didn't fall in the top lane, Ender. That's important for us to note. The Unicorns went for the win instead of making sure that they... Putting five people into the top side of the map. Santa's is going to pop in with the Blast Cone, and they could just sprint for the Nexus here. Gadget is stealthed up. Gadget has Flash, has Heal, has the Spray and Prey. There's the Inhibitor down. Santos dives forward onto Zeitnot's charm comes out, there's a hero's entrance as well, but Gadget is totally untouched in this fight, and Boss is still on the front line. Bullet time coming out, Santos is going to knock Zeitnot back into the fight, Armour tried to do what he can, but the shutdown comes down for Kakao. Boss is down, but super massive are just getting swept away by Gadget, Armour falls a double for Ananasik, and super massive retreats to the safety of the fountain as Unicorns take game one.